Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly with Trevor Daly Photography. I wanted to share a quick tip with you that I use each and every time I edit photos with Lightroom. And it has to do with reducing noise in your photos in a matter of just about a minute uh, on an entire session. Uh, now noise obviously is going to change depending on uh, where we shot it with uh, the ISO speed. So for example, noise at 800 is going to be a lot less than noise at 6,400. Um, but there's a way that we can filter in Lightroom, choose the photos that we want, and then batch edit across the board. So I'm going to show you this quick tip, and I, I think it will save you a lot of time. There's, here's how it works, guys. So um, I have a wedding opened up here in, li in the library module. So right up along the top, I'm going to click library. Uh, from there, I'm going to come over and choose view, show filter bar. Now, the shortcut for this is the backslash key on your keyboard. So for example, if I'm hitting backslash, you're going to see this bar right up across the top here, library filter bar. You're going to see that open and close uh, just based off that backslash key. Now when that opens up, you have four choices across the top. Text, attribute, metadata, and none. I'm going to choose metadata. And when I choose that, you get four boxes that open. Now these four boxes are going to look different on your computer, uh, depending on what the default is or when the last time you used them. The beautiful thing about it is these menus or these titles across the top can be changed to whatever you would like to, uh, to filter by. So for example, if I want to check my apertures, here I can see all the different apertures that I used uh, for this wedding at different times on these photos that I have in front of me. Um, now the one that I want to use for this tip is called ISO speed. So I'm going to come on down, I'm going to choose ISO speed, and now right here I can see I'm actually filtering all the photos based off the speed that I shot the ISO out of those pictures. So if you get where I'm going here, the best thing about it is you can just choose, for example, ISO 6400. I now have the five photos that were shot at 6400. I can come on in here. I can hit develop, go right into the photo, and the way I reduce the noise is on the menu, I'm going to choose detail. And in the detail, I'm going to come on down to noise reduction luminance. And for my camera, 6400 on a 5D Mark III, um, I can, yeah, it's a definitely usable photo, but I usually want to reduce the noise to about, I'm going to choose the luminance slider at about 35. I'm going to hit that, hit OK, looks great. Now, what you got to do here now is come down and choose all the photos. Um, remember, it's filtered, so I'm just looking at those five photos. Choose all the photos. Um, the shortcut on the PC is Control A, or you can come up here and just do Edit Select All. And once I've done that, I hit Sync. Now, guys, when this normally comes up, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be all checked. Um, you know, you might have a few things unchecked here and there, depending on the last time you did a synchronization. Now, the trick here is you got to hit Check None, and then you got to hit Check or you got to check the noise reduction. Now by doing that, what you're basically saying is I want to synchronize nothing but the noise reduction settings. So I hit synchronize and I just change that. So every single one of these pictures now, the noise reduction is set at 35. Um, that's the beauty of it. Now you get where I'm going with this. If I go back to the library module, choose 3200. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to come in here, hit develop, take the photo. At 3200, I'm going to do about 20, hit OK. Select all of them, hit sync, nothing's checked except noise reduction, I hit synchronize, I'm good to go. Go back to my library module, this time I'm going to choose 1600 and 800, so I have about 24 photos there. I'm going to scroll on down, choose a different photo just to have something different to look at here. I'm going to bring this up, let's just see, I'm going to move around just a little bit. And these ones don't require a whole lot, the 5D Mark III is pretty clean at 1600, 1600 and 800, but you know, I'm just going to do a little, maybe a 10, same type of thing. I'm going to Select all, hit sync, nothing's checked except noise reduction, and I'm good to go. Now if I go back to the library module, I don't really need to do any cleaning on the ISO 400s and 200s, um, but, uh, but I just literally in about a minute um, was able to take care of all the noise reduction in the different ISO speeds. At this time I just go back to hit all ISO speeds so I can see everything, and I'm ready to rock and roll. So hopefully that tip uh, saved you some time and you're able to use it to uh, um, you know, to uh, get done with your editing a lot quicker. So you guys, uh, I look forward to sharing more of these. And if you enjoy them, definitely let me know. Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a good one.